Play viewers. Come join us live on Black Women in Grants on TikTok, please. We would love to have you there. I'm going to let TikTok do its thing. The Bible scripture of the day that just popped up was, it's been on my phone, I'm just now reading it. In peace, I will both lie down and sleep. Hallelujah. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. That's what I'm talking about, Jesus. Hey, y'all. Welcome. Come in. Say hey. <laughs> it is yours truly, Dr. AJ Austin, creator of Black Women in Grants. This is pop-up. Friday. I was on here live with y'all earlier. Just came in from my evening walk. Thought I never would have made it. But I did it. My first longer walk since being released from the hospital. From a 24 hour stay. Two blood transfusions. Seven injections. And a month in recovery. Ain't God good. Won't he do it? He said he would. Y'all come in and say hello. This is for black women, for profit, small business owners who are seeking grants for their black woman owned, <laughs> for profit, small business. Earlier today, we did a live about grants, of course, but specifically how to start getting into the right mindset mind frame that you can win these opportunities ashley rankin who may join us soon she just emailed me today that she received a scholarship i gotta see how much it was for but she got free tuition for a year to go through a program that i went through and got free tuition for a year plus <laughs> won a contest slash giveaway one entrepreneur of the year and a $500 gift card to go shopping at Office Depot Office Max got some gifts in the mail so I'm just looking forward to her other wins within this program I'm so excited for her <laughs> so so excited and I think she got in by the hair of her chinny chin chin because the deadline was the same day that I shared the opportunity with her. So, if you're trying to get like Ashley <laughs> and get into the grant game where you're actually starting to look for, find, and apply for grants and grant-funded opportunities for your black woman for profit small business, you're in the right place. So, real quick, let's do something fun that I've just recently learned how to do thanks to one of my assistants who taught me how to do polls here on TikTok. I want to take a quick poll. If you are a black woman, for-profit, small business owner, look at your phone real quick and type or tap the little smile emoji. If you've already started your business, type the smile emoji. If you're looking for grants for that business that you've taught, uh, started, type the smile emoji. If you have not yet started a business and you're in the startup phase and you may not have made money yet, cry me a river and click on that second emoji with the tears. It's all love. You're welcome here too. But let's just have a little fun, boo. So let's do the little poll real quick. If you have a business, tap on the first emoji you see in your poll on your screen if you haven't started yet it's still in your mind but you want to do it you want to do it you swear type on the crying emoji now it's more than one person in this room which means that i'm left to assume those who don't engage or play the game are just here as lurkers and listeners and i could let y'all read into what that really means. For the black women, for-profit, small business owners that are here in multitasking. Girl, you listen. Pay attention. What's your business? Tell me about your business real quick, Jasmine. What do you do? Don, what is the business that you would start if you had the opportunity to? Because if y'all are here to learn about finding and applying or grants 
for your black woman owned for profit small business how i'm gonna help you if i don't know what you do so talk to me real quick in the chat don is digital marketing okay digital marketing me too sis me too so in what area of digital marketing could you use a grant in don like what are you looking for a grant for specifically for your digital marketing business let me know and then jasmine let me know about your business said you have a student transportation service what are you looking for a grant for jasmine talk to me so with grants they're easier to locate opportunities to apply for for your black woman owned for-profit small business if you know where you stand meaning have you started or are you in the startup phase and you know what you're going to use the grant for specifically in your business and i mean specific don't just say inventory don't just say marketing don't just say to get started those are not good reasons in detailed enough to apply for grants so real quick even if you just hear listening and lurking tell us in the chat what could you use a small business grant for Don says just learning to start. Jessica says newer vehicles. Got it. So have you guys written out budgets for how much you want to win? So for example, if you were to win a grant for the new vehicle, for your digital marketing, what would the amount be? So Star, I just said you got to be Pacific, okay? How much in grants and grant funded opportunities would be really cool? You could really use this amount. Put it in the chat real quick. Let's dream out loud a little bit. Hmm. Okay, I see 100K, I see 10K, I see 50K for two vans and wrap them, love it. Dawn says 5K. Ain't nothing wrong with dreaming, girl, them dreams can come true, hunty. If you know what you was doing and you know who you serve, hallelujah. Okay, so... When the last time y'all went and looked for grants for those? Like, when is the last time, Jasmine, that you looked for 50K in grants? Jessica, when the last time you looked for your 50K for your two vans and getting them wrapped? Richie, when the last time you looked for your 10K? Star, I know you're dreaming and it's manifesting, but when the last time you looked for 100K in grants? last year child we is halfway through a whole no girl you know how much money that been gave out since last year <laughs> a few months ago now imagine you saying that about paying your bills or oh, i paid them a few months ago what you think will happen i'm just i gotta hey hey anybody else want to confess don't know where to start don't don't do that don't do that don't do that we black women honey anything we want we get <laughs> when we want something <laughs> we go find out how to get it so i ain't accepting that tonight i don't know where to start mm -hmm. well you're in the right place hey y'all i'm dr aj austin winner of these grants that y'all have let pass because y'all have not went and looked I've won over $63,550 while you were searching last year and letting a few months go by before you searched and sitting here twiddling your thumbs and saying you don't know where to start. I, as well as the Black Women in Grants and my mentorship over at blackwomenandgrants.com have been receiving checks on your behalf. You're welcome. Now, my good news is that I turn around and share a portion. You ain't getting it all because, see, you didn't go looking for it. I did. And I applied and I got it. 
but I give back a little bit. You know, I can break you up a little bit, a little 10% here and there. And I do that <laughs> by sharing it on platforms like this, showing up, sharing what I learned. Like, let me tell you what you could have learned, what you could have discovered and found out about this opportunity had you went and looked for it and applied. Y'all want me to tell you some tea? Because I'm big sister, big cousin to many. And uh, I don't mind sharing and helping what I've learned. Because I got here before you did. Because I did my work. I will help you on the test. But you can't have all my answers. For real, for real. She said thank you. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Why y'all taking breaks? And like. Okay. So I show up here. And I share what I know. And I love the people who are like okay. I'm going to take what I can get. I don't expect you to give me everything. Teaching me how to go get millions for free. So if you got an attitude, you don't believe investing, child, now is the time to log off because that ain't how that works. I don't have a smart mouth, but I am very blunt. So I tell it like a T.I. is and I can block you. So keep that in mind, big sister, big cousin big homie if you cool okay i just gotta th with with the love of the lord it's sprinkled in there you see that beautiful smile that's jesus honey because it wasn't for him i'd be on here cussing but anyway <clears throat> if you're a black woman for a profit small business owner and you're seeking grants and grant funded opportunities you're in the right place okay and so i love when black women show up they ask questions about grants, grant-funded opportunities. They don't stay stuck in what they don't know. They ask questions about where to start, where to go. Help me. Can you? How can we work together? Tell me more. And so Deanna Joy, sometimes she jumps on here on our lives with us. She is the one who did that. I have a book called Finding Funding, and it's all about how I have found these grant opportunities how I have secured the funds, the bag, the shmoney, the moolah, the, y'all hear me. And how I'm sharing the secrets that I have learned. And so she read my book. She went and applied for a grant. Now she's a nonprofit grant writer, but she implemented what I told her to do and ended up winning $50,000 for one of her nonprofit clients. She then won $5,000 for her business. She's currently up to $76,000 in winnings as of last week. She just applied for her first million dollar grant. Come on. And she just helped her client upgrade their technology for their business with new Mac products. I mean, tell me. We don't know how to play the grant game because it's a game. Uh, so if you're not looking for grants or not looking for grant opportunities or if you have looked for grants and applied but you ain't won none yet child, you better be taking notes you better be asking questions if you for real so over at www.blackwomeningrants.com is the year-long mentorship that deanna joy and other black women for profit small business grant winners are in okay you can go visit the site read about them girls they over there and then you can click to join us in the grant game mentorship for a whole year for only 97 dollars that's my gift to you because it's usually 297 you're welcome say thank you told y'all i'm come to play so there's a special link over there for the scholarship, but also if you need payment arrangements, I know you want to just put some on it. You got a little bit. We got Klarna and Afterpay, child. So I don't want to hear, oh no, where to get started? How much is it? Is it free? Do it cost anything? Can you scholarship the whole thing? Can you hold my spot to fry? It's Friday today, and you're welcome, okay? So Shaniqua, she joined us last week. And updated me that she won the 2024 City Trends Black History Makers. They had a $5,000 grant. I didn't even know Shanika was out there uh, applying like that. She was in stealth mode, honey. She would come, get what she need, did what I told her to do, and went and got her money and came back like, oh, by the way, 
My application was selected out of 5,200. Thank you so much. And then she disappears again and go to it again. That's who I'm talking about. Be like Shanique. Well, we call them Neek. And be like Deanna Joy. Them just two of them girls. Now, we, we deep. It's 255 of y'all in here. Okay. Blackwomeningrants.com. That's the site. It's in the comments. No, I can't pin it. TikTok won't let me. Screenshot it. Write it down. Go there. Because it takes two minutes to come join us. But imagine you like them girls over here where we winning, right? And now you just won a grant. Can you imagine that? So now here you is. Black woman, small business, for profit. You started out not knowing where to start, quote, unquote, your words, not mine. You started out not looking for grants. No time in the last day or two, your words, not mine. But finally, <laughs> you got the financial boost that you needed. You finally got your business idea out into the world to grow it or get it started in here like Black Eyed Peas. And so, you know, people waiting, you know, you got a good business, you know, you got a good product, you know, you got a good service. And now you got a check with your name and your business name on it to prove it. Can you imagine that? Y'all talk to me real quick. Do it feel like that's possible or no? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Can you even see it? I need to see what y'all minds at first. Now, one thing I like to do is what my mama used to call sit on the phone and breathe. She said, you call me to sit on the phone and breathe. I'm alive over here. I'm well. And I love good conversation. Because, see, I can talk to myself offline and do. But I decided to bring y'all into the conversation. So, I would appreciate a little talk back. Just a little bit. Not a whole lot. I know life be lifing, but you, you logged on. I ain't come knock on your door and say, girl, come on, get on the live. You joined the live, sis. Hello? Okay. Yes, it's possible. Cool. <laughs> so if you really believe that it's possible, imagine the day that you do have this check in your hand, right? And you go to your bank and you just made one of the biggest deposits you've made in your business bank account at one time whether it was for the first time ever or the first time this year can you really imagine that because i've done it twice the first time i really didn't want to get him that check can i keep the check but y'all just put the funds in there i want to frame this like i ain't gonna spend it again i swear i just want to frame so i had to take a picture and then one time they made a copy Girl, I was thanking God in first gear, second gear, third gear, and fourth gear. By the time I reached fifth gear in my little two-seater Honda 5 speed, we was at the ATM for one, or the drive through for one, and then I went in for the second one because the check was so small, I almost threw it away in junk mail. So we hallelujahed, shouted little two-step all the way into the credit union doors, got ushered in by the credit union employees to the front counter, Thank you, Jesus did. And today told me they can either make a copy or I can take a picture. And then we put it in the bank. Now, I did get a copy of the check stub. I did take a video when I went through the drive through So it's some content on my TikTok. So I got everything I needed, including the funding <laughs> out of the check. <laughs> so God knew he was thanked from the time I... Well, first of all, thank you for letting me get up and actually check the mail today and not skip it. Like, mm, ain't nothing out there. Second... Why did it come the same day as the newspaper junk mail and I almost got thrown away with the junk? So thank you for not letting me throw it away because then I would have been mad like I ain't got my check. Girl, you threw it away. So yeah, he was thunk 70, 70, seven times. Okay. <laughs> so when we got to the bank and we deposit, because at first I was like, this check is so small. It was almost the size of like a postcard. Not a traditional check check, which is very interesting. It was interesting because I told them, first of all, I wanted it deposited already, but I was fine to take it to the bank and live the experience. Remember when checks used to be a thing? You feel me? And this was recently. <laughs> Credit you, you're right down the street. And so I made the deposit, got my content and my copy <laughs> and my cash. Look at the court. And then I said, God, let's go do this again, and did, and kept doing it. So, yeah, them deposits feel good, the money feels good, but also, 
having a strategy behind how you're going to take those dollar dollar bills as i mentioned break your community off a little bit 10 percent here there go invest in someone else's business here and there but more importantly multiply the money that you just got because you don't know when you're going to win your next grant and you got to now go replace the one you just won with another one you fit to win okay we in the country so we finna go win another one so if you've been needing grants, if you've been wanting grants, if you've been seeking them and applying, and you really are wanting to take financial support seriously, it's possible, especially because you ain't got to pay it back, girl. <laughs> you ain't got to borrow money from mom and them no more. Leave them alone. Show them your checks. Send them the screenshots like I did. Like, girl, you got to be careful who you share it with, too, because first thing you get, let me get 20 to uh-uh. That ain't how this works. So... If you for real though, about financing your business future, it's possible. You just got to take it serious and you got to have a strategy going in and a strategy to keep going. Don't let rejections or not hearing back yet or not winning yet or even winning your first one. Don't let that be it. You got to keep going. Keep adding to the money that your business should already be making or will be right like we adding to it not using it in the place of money that our business should be generating right because the grant is going to ask you how you're going to use your grant so real quick how would you use your grant when you win your 10k your 50k your 100k dream with me a little bit imagine a little bit what's the first thing you think you would spend a portion of the grant that you've won and you've deposited into your credit union bank account. What would you do with that first part after we thank God, right? What 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 you going to spend it on? Invest, excuse me, invest it in. <laughs> what you going to invest it in? Real quick, tell me. Stop multitasking, put down whatever you're doing. Except if you're driving, I don't want that responsibility. But I will. Uh, what would you spend one of them first grant dollars on when you get it? If you're serious, I can't guarantee that everybody here is serious about grants. I think some of y'all just here being nosy because it's taking way too long to get a little talk back, a little response, a little feedback when I ask a question. So, you no, know, you're just in here listening and lurking. I can see every, let me call out some names. Hold on real quick. I can see everybody that's on here. So you think you lurking, but girl, I'm watching you watch me watch you. Let me get to that screen real quick. Um, marketing. I see. Okay. What kind of marketing now? Mm hmm Because there's different kinds of marketing now. What kind of marketing? While I'm being nosy and see. Ooh, I see you. They're different kind of marketing. So is it email marketing? Is it direct marketing? Is it mail marketing? Is it Facebook ad marketing? Google ad marketing? YouTube ad marketing? MailChimp marketing? Active campaign marketing? What type of marketing? Let me know. Ooh, radio marketing. Girl, people still listen to the radio. Your clients listen to the right. That is so cool. Now, I had a coach last year, I think it was. He, I don't know how much he paid, but he invested in radio. And he still, to this day, won't stop talking about how it did not work for him. <laughs> and so, I've had to listen to that speech multiple times. But anyway. How else would you use your grant? Let's see. Combination of marketing, tangible, and digital. What does that mean? If you told a grant, I'm going to use your 50000 for some tangible and digital marketing. And they like, we've never heard those words. So could you explain how that works? What, what, what does that mean? Exactly. Yep. Wrapping the vehicle is marketing. And it's a lot of marketing that's going to go into that because you got to have more than one vehicle be able to leave that one for at least a day i'm speaking for when i drop one of my cars out for a refresh paint job you better have a backup transportation so they finish 
Hope they get it right the first time. Ordering the supplies. Missing work. Could be missing money. There's a lot to go into that. So that's why I say when y'all y'all can't just say marketing and expect the grant to fill in the blanks. They came. They ain't never had no car wrap, girl. Wait, I don't go into that. They might ask for some price comparisons. Like, why you got to go to this one? Why you can't go to that one? Why you need it wrapped? You be driving that much, you know. So you may have to answer questions. Magazines and flyers. What magazines? Let me know. What magazines are your clients reading? Grants could be used for marketing if you can explain how you're going to use it for marketing. They could also be used to do things like grow your roster of staff. Everything from e-commerce and freelance and part-timers and paid interns. You can have unpaid interns, but you're paying them in like gift cards and gas cards and food. I'm speaking from experience. But you also want to include yourself if you're not on your payroll yet. So you have to add those annual salaries. So some of y'all grant amounts might not even be enough yet. You may have to go in and adjust it. You know, you may want to come on part-time first before you bring on some new people. You may want to have project-based staffing if you're working on a special project and you just need one-time graphic designer or one-time website designer or one-time um, admin assistant or, you know, then you can also use grants for investing in technology. I remember I told y'all about Deanna Joy, who's won $76,000, and she's in our mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com. And she just helped one of her clients upgrade their technology. So I've seen a lot of grants that'll help you with everything from a new desktop to a new laptop to the iPads or notebooks, um, all the way to you know, the learning platforms that you teach on or your website. Um, I have a digital business card thanks to a grant. So people literally scan my phone versus me handing out business cards and it uploads all their contact and vice versa and reminds me to follow up with them. All thanks to a grant. Grants can help up, um, what do you call, upgrade your learning platforms as well. I had a grant over the last year pay for me to have Amazon Prime. I was already paying for it, but they gave me a year break. They sent me an Amazon Fire, which I'm sitting here looking at and chatting with y'all at the same time, which is like a little tablet. She real cute. They sent me um, the digital business card. They sent me Audible for a year. And they gave me some other tech-based upgrades in my business. So you can invest in physical and digital technology. Did y'all know that you can do all of this with a grant have y'all considered it have you heard about it let me know Ooh, employee bonuses sound fun okay yep so you can pay for your everyday business operating expenses you know trying to keep the lights on if the grant allows it because sometimes um, grants are restricted. And what restricted means is they can literally tell you how they do or don't want you to use the funds. This is more coming in the nonprofit world. We don't talk about that here. We don't talk about Bruno. We're for profit and the funds are usually unrestricted unless they come from a place like um, in December, Office Depot, Office Max gave us a $500 gift card to shop online in their store or go into any of the physical locations. And we did happily spent that money. And that would have been considered restricted funding only because we could only spend it with their store. I couldn't take that to a Staples or to a Target and spend it. However... If it's like a Amex gift card, which I've received, or, um, you know, a PayPal payment, you can take that anywhere and spend that unrestricted. So you have to know how the funds are going to show up. So make sure you're reading the terms and conditions of grants because they'll tell you what you can and can't use it for, etc. You said you were trying to hire someone who specialized in this area. Which area? Grants? Uh -huh. 
So we talked about marketing, hiring new staff, investing in new technology, um, physical and digital, um, paying for your business expenses, making sure the funds are unrestricted. Also hiring a coach or hiring a training and development mentor um, for your business. Meaning if you know you need help fleshing out your pitch deck or fleshing out your business plan or fleshing out your marketing and your sales plan or doing a SWOT analysis. There are business training and development programs that already have funds from grants. Office Depot, Office Max, Target, AT&T, Verizon, FedEx, UPS, Chase, Wells Fargo, JP Morgan Chase, Regions Bank, Bank of America. They have already written checks to business training and development programs online and offline. One of our mentees, Ashley, just got into a program today sponsored by Office Depot, Office Max, the same program that gave me the $500 shopping spree in December, crowned me Entrepreneur of the Year because they watched me grow y'all from $400 to $65,000 here on TikTok. And they sent me $900 in office furniture to my front door via UPS that I had to sign for twice. A desk, a chair, a filing cabinet, journal, pens, and so much more that I ended up sharing, giving away, and selling. I ain't gonna lie. Um, Because I had just bought some of that off Amazon. I was like, man, who knew I could get a grant for all this? Did y'all know? I didn't know, but now I do. So that's just part of the $63,550 that I've won. It's part of the secrets that I share. Not only do I tell y'all how I've done it, I show you where to go get it done for yourself. That's what I did for Ashley. That's why she got her scholarship approval letter today since she's joined us over at blackwomeningrants.com. So if you want to come join us, it's only 97 bucks. That's a scholarship. Get in. Come learn the secrets. One-time payment, year-long access, year-round. <laughs> And learn what I'm sharing in addition to sending you these grants. Our grants come to us. Every month, we get a list of about 200 grants that you can literally click a link on a list or a spreadsheet or in a database. You get the link to all three. Every month, top of the month, it's refreshed. And you go see what funds are available. And these are grants that are delivered to your inbox because as soon as you join the mentorship, you get access to these links. And they're updated by three separate business women, and they're exclusive opportunities just for being a woman in business versus you trying to go find grants on your own and getting overwhelmed because you really don't know where to start. And you're going to have to fish through the sea of the millions of results and wonder if they're legit and then go out and try to compete with everybody and their mama, black, white, other cultures, other you know genders, etc., so I love our setup and our learning portal where all of this comes to us. Grants come to us. Partnerships with the business training and development programs come to us. We've partnered with eight different programs that I've gone through successfully already. And I refer you to, you can literally go give my name, put your application in and be good. And these are programs that have already been paid for to mentor, coach, teach, train you. And they have their own learning portals as well. So grants are a whole new world that can open up a whole new world for you. If it's something you really want to set aside time and take seriously. And it's going to teach you about something called social impact. Meaning if you can share with a grant, like I mentioned in the beginning, how you will take a portion of what they award you and share with your community, whether it's sharing through discounting your skills or offering scholarships yourself we've given away almost fifty thousand dollars in scholarships just from letting you in our training for a year for only 97 bucks the back end grants take care of the rest of that 200 that you were supposed to pay but we got you so that's called social impact how are you helping breaking off your community to bring someone along with you Grants are great for expanding your skills as well and um, learning the skill of grants, applying, storytelling, standing out on these applications. That's a skill. Um, peeping legit opportunities, if it's a grant or not, that's a skill because a lot of people get scammed thinking, oh, I'm about to win a grant and somebody done lied to you because grants aren't guaranteed and you can't pay your way into the grant game, literally. <laughs> so. If you're looking to expand your black woman for-profit small business owner 
these are all great ways to get into the grant game and know how you're going to use the funds as well as how much in funding that you need. Are there any questions so far? Let me know. So what I love about what I do is that, as I mentioned, we're in the for-profit space. And so what that means is we submit grant applications. I teach you how to do it. I don't do it for you. I barely want to do it for myself, but, you know, we get it done. <laughs> but I teach you what I know. So it's not just working for me. It's working for the ladies in our mentorship over at BlackWomenInGrants.com. And when you try to guess your way through this, it multiplies the time that it should even be taking you to win your first grant. So if you're wondering why you're not winning, well, we already established, first of all, some of y'all ain't even looking for grants. So that's why you got a 100% chance of not winning a grant you never look for and apply to. So there's that. <laughs> and then second, if you let too much time pass in between applying for grants, you leave a lot of money on the table, literally, that you could be applying to, you could be eligible for. And also, most people try to win small business grants for their business by just collecting a lot of free information, or they'll try to piece together what they think they're learning, but they don't know if it's good information or not. And so then they find themselves doing stuff like buying random grant lists, and they'll find that online or buy it from somebody, and um, usually they don't qualify for, or they should never even be applying to the opportunities quote unquote on these lists because if you don't know where you stand in your business it's impossible to know the types of grants you should be applying to and there are only two types of grants to apply to if y'all want to know what they are just let me know but when you try to figure this on your own and you're just spraying and playing and uh, spraying and praying and applying for any old opportunity and you're wondering why you're not winning does this work you only end up getting scammed. And I'm speaking because I have talked to two ladies in our Black Women in Grants mentorship. And they knew that they were ignoring red flags and getting scammed by some non-legitimate grant, quote unquote, opportunity from some guy in Nigeria who ends up just stealing their money. And I did interview them and ask them why they think they got scammed from, quote unquote, grants. And one lady told me, Miss Brenda, sometimes she joins us here. She said, I wanted it to be true so bad. I wanted it to work so bad. I didn't want to have to put in the work. I didn't want to go do the searching. They found me on social media. They inboxed me and they promised me that they can guarantee me a grant. They threw out a name like SBA. I didn't even know SBA offered grants. And they told me if I just paid them a fee, gave them my business information, that my stuff would come in the mail. Child, call your bank and get your money back because you just got, got real good. So when you go in it feeling desperate, when you go in it feeling like, I need to win a grant real quick, I got some bills to pay, I'm trying to start this business real quick, please, I just need to win a grant to prove that my idea is good, you might just be on your way to getting scammed or you might be on your way to feeling really, really overwhelmed because, you know, in addition to feeling desperate, that could also look like you're finding these random, like I said, lists of grants or just links to places you think are grants that you qualify for. So you submit applications, but they're really bad. Everything from your essays to like the videos you submit. I've seen some bad grant applications. Some just say it like that. And so even though you're submitting applications, if they're not good, you're going to keep getting rejected and you're never going to get the grants that you apply for. So that's why I know it's worth it taking time to learn the grant game, how to play. What are the rules? What are the restrictions? What are the regulations? All the way down to how they regulate your funds. Because even how grants present legitimate opportunities could be a little misleading sometimes. For example, I've seen several hundred thousand dollar grant opportunities. And to the common eye that know nothing about grants, you would think, I'm about to apply, apply for a $100,000 grant opportunity. But when you click that little blue line that's highlighted on their page telling you about the grant and it brings up that big page of legal terms and conditions and policies, it's telling you the rules, restrictions, and regulations. 
And one of the regulations is they're going to take that 100K, give 50K to the first place winner and break down the remainder payments in $12,500 chunks. So here you are thinking you finna get one big check with six zeros and they like, well, we told you in the fine print, you clicked that you read it. Remember you clicked it and you submitted it, but you didn't read it. Here go your $12,500. Thank you for playing. You can't be mad because they told you. But you just didn't take long enough to study it because you wanted it to happen so bad. But you also don't want to find yourself in a place where you're not only about to get scammed or feeling overwhelmed, but you don't want to be in such an overloaded place of never applying for anything because you're not sure of where to start. Because you are trying to piece together free information because you haven't sought out or asked for or hired or invested in help. And so you don't know exactly what to say on these applications to help your small business stand out, to start winning these grants and grant funded opportunities, which is why you're here, why you started looking for grants in the first place, right? So when you discover how to create what we call a grant application strategy, this is going into these small business applications knowing what you're going to do with the money, how you're going to help your community, what story to tell, what to leave out, what to tell the grant you're going to use the money for. You got to define your grant goals clearly in addition to knowing how much you need in grants and then making sure that you're finding out the real statistics behind what it really takes to win. There are some simple steps to uncover in the finding funding game and applying only for grants and grant funded opportunities that you know your small business qualifies for and can win as a for-profit black woman small business owner. What questions can I answer for you so far? Because this is always a good conversation because the finding funding formula that I share with you in our mentorship works because you're not wasting your time trying to figure this out or trying to find somebody to pay to do it for you. Nobody's going to do it like you can do it because God gave you that vision, sis. Don't you want to know how to do it for yourself? Because what if that person got an attitude and walked away with all your money? Like some people have told me have happened to them. They wanted to pay and walk away. And that's exactly what the <laughs> person did with their money. It's not funny, but this is how we set ourselves up for failure. My, the Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Are you investing in your knowledge? You don't want to waste time applying for grants or having someone else, quote unquote, do it for you, <laughs> trying to get this money that you really don't qualify for and you'll never win. So you want to be able to easily find funding that your business qualifies for, but you also got to make sure that you're aligning with what your business needs and that it's going to help you meet your goals, but also the grants goals. They're literally grading your grant application, seeing if you're in alignment with what they're looking to award this money for. So you want to finally understand what to put on the application, what to leave off, um, how to do your essays. I give you templates for how I do mine, especially the videos when I always rock my video essays. So I show y'all what I say, how long you have to say it. And uh, Ashley Rankin, who just got awarded her scholarship today for one of our partner programs, she has a phenomenal video strategy and has grown so well. She went from not wanting to apply for grants that required a video to knocking my socks off the last video she sent me. I was like, this is so good. I never knew that part of her story. And she used it from the tips that I've shared with her since she's joined us in the mentorship and our additional trainings. And so videos can, yeah, get you tripped up. But when you know what to say, when you're seeing examples of how to do it, and you have people who have won doing it. I have won my last three grants just for my videos. Here, take my video. I love a pre-recorded video versus something live, child. Let me get my makeup on, throw some gel on his head, show these pearly whites, and tell y'all this story that's going to leave me with thousands of dollars. I've done it so well that one of the ladies that wrote me two checks <laughs> for two separate grants that she offers, she's like, now we're about to get you back on video to tell me how you got me to write you two checks. And I did. In the video, you can find it in the Finding Funny ebook that's in the mentorship. But uh, that's what you should be doing. Telling the story that's going to help you stand out 
among the sea of thousands of other people who are going to be applying for that same grant. You shouldn't even be worried, sis. You coming in with a strategy, with a game changer. And so I've seen this with the hundreds, probably even thousands now of black women that have um, started their businesses and attended my grant trainings. Y'all, I had a emergency about a month ago. I fainted twice. I fainted once in my home, called 911. They took me to the emergency room. I fainted there. Come to find out, I knew I had anemia, but it was severe. I was a seven on a scale of, I should have been at an 11 or a 14. And one of my nurses ended up saying, I knew it was you. Come to find out she, this time last year, had came to one of my grant events. So instead of checking me out, by the time I got better and they were ready to discharge me, they gave me two blood transfusions. I had to have seven shots. I ate real good. I didn't rest all that well, but we got better. I rolled in on a gurney and walked out happily healed and feeling better. And I've been in recovery for a month. But just thinking back through that journey, how it ended with one of our black women in grants. She had signed up for our mentorship she knows me by Dr. A.J. Austin, but you know the government put your full name on your hospital record. So she was like, who is this lady? I think this name sounds familiar. And then she came and she was like, I knew it was you. So she in my room getting the website and like, well, when the next event and when? And then she got called away. But I just said, look at God. It's a small world, but knowing that there are women with businesses. Now, she's a nurse. <laughs> That's also looking for grants for her additional black woman owned small business. And she was trying to get back in the loop because she had lost touch. And so seeing women like this who come to me all the time, I've been stopped in the grocery store and now in the hospital, I've been riding down the road and got a call like, did I just see you pass? Girl, women everywhere <laughs> come to me wanting help with finding grants for their business and wondering which small business grants they should go for, how to avoid these scams. And they're wondering if they've been filling out these small business grant applications the right way or thinking that they need to pay someone else to do it, to find these opportunities, quote unquote, to apply, quote unquote, to win, quote unquote. It never goes like that. So you want to learn it yourself. And so when you start applying for it and winning grants for your small business, um, it's because you've learned how to apply what I call my five figure fund finding formula, which is a mouthful, but it's how I'm winning. So you might as well come on, right? <laughs> Kim Ancestry. Hey girl. She said, I just finished the ebook. Girl, did you learn anything? Let me know. You said you're having trouble with your video. Just email me, which link. Um, and sometimes the videos act funny. They act funny. Um, for me too, depending on what you're watching them on. So you can watch them on your phone, your tablet, your Bapruda, as my little niece used to say, your desktop, your laptop. Um, sometimes you have to switch devices. But yeah, I'm the same way. I be out and about like grocery shopping and stuff and I try to watch our videos to stay reminded of what I teach y'all. <laughs> and mine will just sit and circle for a minute then I have to get off and log on on another one and it act like it it's never gave me problems. So just, oh, you said you're having problems <laughs> making your own. If you've read the book, you should not be because literally the end of the book is the template for the video. <laughs> oh, Jessica, you said you have uh, joined the membership. Let me click. I got my little baby Bapruda in my lap. So let me see if it'll let me log in and let you into the learning portal did you see the second page jessica with the link where you have to request access to um get into the learning portal it's gonna register your email address and then let you in i'm letting my computer load i might have to get up and get my um my laptop for real but let me know said i love all the information you provided thank you deanna joy i think she's on her third time um reading the book alone and so she's also won seventy six thousand dollars since reading the book so i think it's worth uh what they call it spinning the block <laughs> reading it again real quick just skip through and see if you missed anything you know you just started looking for an accelerator program for your business good so that means you took the quiz that's in the book um are you in the mentorship program or do you just have the book when we were just selling the book? Let me know. 
Because in the mentorship, you have a list of accelerators to go apply to. I actually just got into one today. They were giving away 50 scholarships. Um, but they come open throughout the year, and I try to keep y'all connected to those. The ebook is in the mentorship, Jessica. You said you got the receipt. Let me, okay, give me one second. Let me get my laptop, and I'll make sure you get logged in and get your link to the full portal that has the um has the book and everything else in one second i gotta plug in my laptop too she might be dead girl. hold on Got my laptop. Let me make sure she has the charge here. Get that log on. Okay, she's dead. So give it a minute. I gotta put power her up. questions you can put them as well I've been looking for me some glasses to see there we go they end up in different places all the time and even though I got multiple pair it's like where is one when I need it Jessica, I gotta find your email address. One second, let me refresh my screen. If anyone else is over at blackwomeningrants.com claiming your scholarship to join us, let me know if you need help getting logged in. I'm happy to help. And if you have questions or want to talk about your ahas or takeaways from our conversation so far, now is a great time to do that. Let me see. Okay, I got your email here.
double checking. All right, Jessica, do you still see just your receipt? Or did you X out after you checked out? Like, let me know what you see on your end. I'm about to send you another email. Dang, it's, it must be a lot of bots on here just sitting because the chat is quiet and nobody's saying nothing, which means we have a lot of itching ears. And that's really weird. I can see who on here, so let me go through and make sure I don't need to block nobody. This is weird to me. It's distracting. <laughs> if you ain't on here engaging and talking, I'm just assuming you're listening and lurking. But uh, we're about to wrap up soon, too, so just got to let you know I see you watching. All right, Jessica, give me a few more seconds. I'm trying, okay. All right. I am clicking send now. So I just emailed you from my other email. Let me know you got it. And that has your link. So all you have to do is request access through that link. And it's going to email me and I can let you into the learning portal. Anyone else knows themselves, got questions? I see them numbers drop when I told y'all I could see who on here. I ain't flexing. I really can't. I'm trying not to call you out, but if you ain't on here talking about grants, you don't know. You might want to find another spot to chill. Um, you said there are many essay questions to enter the accelerator. Yeah, they are. Um, the one that I got, I see you, Jessica. Give me one second. The one that I got into last year, they asked you about 75 questions. And my friend gave up, <laughs> but I kept going. And I'm glad I did because I ended up getting a $1,500 scholarship to get in and go through the program. So, yeah, that's – but then think about it. If you don't have to pay to get into these programs, all they want is who are you, what do you do, how can we help you. They want to see how well you know your business so they can kind of – gauge what type of help you need and sometimes they build those programs around your answers like oh it looks like she needs more help with this this and this if we let her in this is what she's going to need so it's all a process but i think that's a pretty fair exchange if it's um you know tuition free right jessica i just uh let you in the portal so you should be good to go let me know that you can click it and open it and see our world now <laughs> welcome to the great game girl so I got nervous, decided to finish all of the information you provided before starting. <laughs> you better do it at the same time. You're going to miss that deadline, girl. That's what I tell y'all. So, um, Kim Ancestry, are you in the mentorship program or do you just have the book? Let me know first before I share this with you. Had a book. Okay. Do you get our emails too that I send out weekly? You're in. Welcome, Jessica. Yay. <laughs> um, what was I gonna tell you? Okay, in the book you said you got nervous. Oh, what I was gonna say is if you're in the mentorship, it is 24 hours worth of learning content. And so from the videos and the audios, um, if you pay the $97 then you're in the mentorship. That's the scholarship price. I can look it up and see if you want, but I just want to make sure you get access to everything that you should because um, total learning time, including reading the book, is about 24 hours worth of content. And so you don't have to worry about finishing everything before you go out and apply for these grants and grant-funded opportunities. I want you to be able to do it together. That's why I give you a year in the program for the 97 bucks so hopefully that helps you don't have to stress yourself out like i gotta finish everything before i go i'm just gonna shut down <laughs> don't do that <laughs> apply at the same time okay jessica says is this where i find the ebook yes so when you open the learning portal and you see all those beautiful links right the first link you want to click is the welcome packet and it says welcome to the grant game 
And in the welcome packet, it starts with all of the links to everything you need, including the book, including the videos, the audios, the interviews. Everything is there. I just put it in more than one place for y'all. So just take your time and go through each one. And each one is a bonus and a goodie, okay? She said, oh boy, you a coach for real. I'm trying to be real with you because if you sit and wait on yourself to complete a 24-hour program then go back through your notes then go implement then girl you will have missed so many opportunities <laughs> so don't do that to yourself go in and make your money back right away like if you just went in and applied and got into one of the scholarship opportunities you would have earned your money back instead of saying well now they're asking too many questions i'm gonna shut down now let me go do my work <laughs> I know how it is. I'm speaking from experience. I'm in several programs. I have to talk myself into like, let me just do one one video today. I'm working my way through a new coach's um, stuff. He has 250 videos. I'm just taking my time. <laughs> like, let me listen to a video real quick. But I listen to my stuff on 2x speed. So that helps me kind of speed through things. And then if I want to go listen again, you can always rewind, slow it down. So that's how I listen. To make sure I'm paying attention because anything slower, child, be done with sleep. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just keep that in mind. Stay encouraged. Push through. But more importantly, you do not have to finish everything, okay? Yes, get out of your comfort zone. I'm going to send y'all an email this Sunday showing y'all how I got out of my comfort zone this last week or two. Um, and then put it online, child. So, uh, yeah, let go. If I could do it, come on. I'm bringing you to. <laughs> Sometimes it ain't even about comfort. It's just like, just do it. Like, I've been in the house for like a month. I do go out grocery shopping and stretch my legs. But for the first time, I walked around my block in almost two months. It's a five-minute walk. And I felt like I remember how toddlers learn to walk. Like, I was shaking. My legs weak. My muscles weak. That thing took a lot out of me. And then I just did it again today, and it didn't feel like that. And so that showed me that, you know, I'm doing the right thing. It's not going to be hard every time. My muscles are going to get strong again. Because um, I've seen videos where they say, you know, we sit so much for working out that our muscles are wasting away. And I'm like, that plus going through a healing journey, uh-uh, let me get out and literally get out of the comfort zone, which is my bed, my house. Walk around the block. I got to come back home, so I'm going to make it. <laughs> I might get halfway and turn around, but at least I tried. That's what I'm talking about. So sometimes you just got to make the decision to get up and do it versus being like me standing under this warm cover in front of this cool fan and being like, you know, I could have been at the end of the block by now. I really should get up and do it. And I spent so much time thinking about it, going back and forth, arguing with myself, the sun going down. Let me get up real quick. And that's what I did. And it helped that I had to bring in my trash from the curb to my trash can. I had to roll it back in. So I had to go outside anyway. Because I don't want my neighborhood talking about me. Um, and they'd be like, dang, she really don't leave. Like my lawn guy, <laughs> he used to blow leaves over my car. And I never knew why he did that. And it bothers me. My car is, I got two cars. They're really small. Um, and he just thought it was okay. I had, he don't even know some of the times I had just washed the car, went through the car wash. But he would just blow the leaves from the backyard to the front yard over my car and post put them behind my car so that the trucks could come get it. And I asked him why he does it. He said, I didn't think your car worked. I said, first of all, that's not the point. <laughs> but second of all, he was slick trying to say, you don't never go nowhere. <laughs> you always hear, I didn't think your car worked, so I thought it was okay to blow leaves on your car. Sir, do, my, do that. How did that even make sense in your brain? But anyway... I don't really be going nowhere, <laughs> but it's not okay to blow leaves on my car. Please don't do that no more. Um, but yeah, that was just like an aha moment of like other people notice too when you just kind of sit in your comfort zone. Like, dang, you your car ain't moving, you ain't coming out the house, your muscles weak, girl. Are you alive? Are you okay? So sometimes we have to just take a step, do it anyway, <laughs> and live to tell about it, right? girl that was a dilemma for a long time so yeah i just think that's a funny story but that's all i got this is a uh, my second live for today um 
I do like coming on live with you guys, hanging out and chatting and answering questions, especially those of you who join us in the Grant Game Mentorship over at BlackWomenInGrants.com. If you're one of our mentees or you want to be and get in on a scholarship, it's a great place to grow the conversation that we've now gotten started about what to do next. Go watch a video. Go click play. Go read. We have an app that's going to read the book to you, so let her read to you for a little bit. <laughs> And just move forward. Don't stay stuck in where you were when you got on here like, I don't know where to start. I haven't looked for grants in years. Don't do that. So the essay says the video is optional, but I think I think you need to do it too. Because if you, uh, oh, you use the app? Good, girl. <laughs> so you could definitely go read it again then if you let it read to you. I did both of them as well, and I wrote the book. So, um... If you watch my um, video essays that are linked in the book, in the mentorship, well, you got the book. And then if you look at the application I put in the book, my full application of the last scholarship I got to go through the program last year, um, where they're actually talking about me on the scholarship, they based my acceptance into that program on my video. What I didn't know is when they asked me for a video, they were also screening me to be a speaker. So I've been invited to Washington, D.C., which is where this program is headquartered, because they like my tone. I'm an American. It was a hundred of us, and we are all over the world. So, you know, accents are thick. Wi-Fi is different. So they're looking at all of that. Your lighting, your personality, they're listening for how you speak, your cadence. Can they see you being one of their paid speakers in the future as a trainer, a mentor, a coach? I've been given opportunities for all of that, all of because of my video essays. And I expect that. If it didn't happen, I would be concerned. There have been times where I got an attitude like, well, wait a minute, how are you going to let her speak? And I'm the speaker. What do you mean? Watch my video again. Like, no, ma'am. So. And then I've had people chase me and beg me to speak. And I'm like, nope, because you should ask me before you ask her, because I know my video was good. So that's how I look at video. I'm about being for real. I am being honesty, okay? But yeah, they are judging you. Um, it's a whole judgment process. And I love it, though. There's one, um, um, They are they considered, yeah, they're an accelerator. They have open applications now for a program here in Atlanta where you get $5,000 after working with them for three weeks, they have a grant built into their program. And they also have it where if you don't win that grant, you can still apply to be one of their speakers. Because if you're coming in as a successful business owner already and taking one of their programs and they're giving you a grant, they're assuming you're good at what you do as well. So they also give you the opportunity to go ahead and fill out an application to return as a mentor or a speaker. And I just think that's so cool. Because it makes sense, you know, just because you're applying for a grant doesn't mean you don't know your stuff. I hope you know your stuff because you're starting a business around it, you know. And they're like, okay, well, based on her video, she would make a great speaker to bring in to talk to some people in the future that go through our program, whether she wins or not. And you still get paid on the back end. So I love that that's how that works in this space and grants are not just one way. But that's a part of strategy, too, if you go in looking at it like that, saying, even if I don't win this, here's how I'm going to play it, literally, you know? I need to know how to tell my story. Yep. So if you're in the, the mentorship, then there's a, um, if you look through our recent TikToks, we just did a three-part storytelling masterclass here on TikTok, like, a week or two ago. Um... Let me see if I can find... Oh, I'm looking at it right now. Episodes 170, 7, 178, and 179, if I'm not mistaken, in the um, playlist that you guys get access to. That's the Storytelling Masterclass. So if you need help with telling your story, it's already there for you. And I, I broke down that class from a $100,000 opportunity that is currently open and it's featured on our list of grants. So hopefully that helps. You are welcome. Jessica, you good? You got everything? I want to make sure all hearts and minds are clear before I wrap this up. Kim Ancestry, it's been a pleasure chatting with you. I love when y'all come out the woodworks like, hey, I've been reading. <laughs> Jessica, did you find the book and the welcome packet? Are you 
engulfed with all the learning that there is to do, let me know. But I am about to wrap up. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I need to download. I'm missing like the last several TikToks. So I got some new ones to upload into our playlist here. I'll do that when I get bored enough for them to disappear. Okay, you're going to go watch more videos. Good. Go watch some um, the video pitches and take notes. And then pay attention to the template for what goes in the pitch. And then you should feel better about doing yours coming up. Because there are some that are coming up. All right, y'all. Well, thank you for hanging out, for being here. I'll give you back the rest of your evening. I'm going to rest and relax. Welcome to the Grant Game. Those of you who have joined us on your scholarship over at blackwomeningrants.com. Make sure you follow this page, Black Women in Grants. We're the one with 65K plus of y'all here. Turn your notifications on so that when we go live, you can come join us whether it's our regular scheduled time of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, or I might surprise you like tonight and pop up and chat grants. Y'all have a phenomenal rest of your evening. I'll see you soon. God bless. Bye, future grant winners.